Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I have a few different disclaimers this time around. If you hear my brothers outside, please ignore them. They're being very loud tonight, and I don't know why. And also, if you hear mosquitoes flying around, that's just the norm. I have my fan off, so they're gonna be active and killing me. So, this is great. I'm sitting through this for you guys because I love Phoenix Wright. And I hope you guys do as well. Okay, the court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I have also tried recording this before. And the file got corrupted because I ran out of space. So I think for safety, I'm cutting this one off at 20 minutes, unfortunately. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Thank you for your examination, Edgeworth. Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. That tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Why would you bring that to the courtroom? I, I'm baffled. Very good, sir. Set it down on the thing in front. Like, what? I am the head bellboy at the Fine Gatewater Hotel in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May, herself. He is such... He's such a simp. I see. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Right. I'm ready. I hope. This is it. If I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder now, Maya will be finished. Okay. I am the head bellboy. Da -da -da -da. Received a call after eight... She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time. After I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. Wouldn't have any reason to lie, no. Okay, hold up. I think I know what to press. I this I recorded this last a few days ago, and I was tired as well, so I don't remember. Uh, I'm gonna press this to see if... Nine on the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on the TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. Nine, the time of the murder. Wouldn't that be exactly when a new show starts, though? Because there's advertisements and they have to make sure shows start on the dot, whatever. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. So, 13 minutes of video recording got chopped out of this video. I gotta say, the most frustrating and demotivating part of this whole thing is recording up to 20 minutes of video, editing all that, and when I get to editing, I see that half of the video is missing. It's like, I just recorded this. I don't feel like recording anymore. I just, I'm very blown away at this whole, like, but... I have some good news. I went in my settings and I was like, what the hell is giving me so many space problems? I cleared up at least 30% of the things that were giving me problems. I'm still going to only record 20 minute videos, like third time I say this in the video, but most of the space problems are gone. So 20 to 25 minute videos. Yeah. All right. Let's keep this train rolling with more extra recorded footage. Okay, have a good one. Okay, we are back. So, I don't know how much I've already pressed, so I am just going to press all the relevant things and move my little recorder thingy. I am the head bellboy at the Gatewater Hotel. I believe I received a call after 8 in the evening from our guest, Miss May. Hold it. Hold it. Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? I checked Miss May in personally, sir. Not only did I see her in all her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. And then I saw them, and I... Gluck. I'm gonna dry heave. Ahem, er, ahem. The point being, I remembered her quite well, sir. Yes, what then? She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. Nine on the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on the TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. Nine, the time of the murder. 
I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course, and I delivered the iced coffee to our guest Miss May herself. You are sure it was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir, she, the guest, sir, favored me with an, um, an embrasseur, sir. I don't know how to properly pronounce that, so I'm sorry if I just butchered that really badly. Embrasseur? Is that French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir, but not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. Why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never, ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. It's no good. There's nothing there. Is... is that it? Tisk, tisk. Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Hmm, it was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? Just a second. Okay, I remember now. Alright, protest! Wait! Please wait! Yes? Does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright, I'll give you one more question. That's all. I feel like I'm speaking to them as if they're like five-year-olds. Now, now, give Phoenix the toy. It's his turn. <laughs> okay, this is really it now. This is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Check in. Did you make the bed properly? Uh, it's important for the investigation. T tell me about check-in. Tell me about when you checked in, Miss May. Oh, all right. Very well, sir. My first thought was that she was a beautiful, beautiful person. She's just my type of girl, so it was a disappointment, really. I see. Excuse me, what exactly was a disappointment? Well, I am not without charm, sir, but even I'd have little chance with her lover there. What did he say? What did you say? Ah, oh, uh, rather, quite. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Did Miss May check in with another person? I object. That was objectionable. And now Edgeworth is really acting five. Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you, uh, you didn't ask. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Ah, uh, yes, quite, indeed. It was the, uh, good barista there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... He asked me not to mention it if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Oof! You fool! Tampering with the witness. Tisk, tisk, Edgeworth. I've done it. I've won! Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man, correct? Yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. Hmm. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In this new light, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. You agree, Mr. Edgeworth? Who? Who is this other person? Simple. It was Miss April May. The man who checked in with Miss May. Oof. Your Honor, as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. My, what a convenient little setup. But it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. Oof! Upstart amateur. Th these accusations are... ludicrous. Enough! 
The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. That is all today for the trial of Maya Fey. Court is adjourned. All right. September 7th, 2.24 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Mr. Wright! You were amazing in there! Really? I think I might be your new... I think I might be your newest fan! Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool, too. Huh? That face of his, with eyes wide and trembling lips, it sent shivers up my spine. Hmm, if you say so. So, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Well, no. I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir! I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis. Don't worry. I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you. We kind of have to find him by tomorrow, because if we don't, then... I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow, but now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that got left on the record. May testimony added to the court record. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that detention center, and it's up to me to get her free. So... Oh, it's to be continued. Dang it! I'm gonna save. Uh, before it was to be continued, I had meant to look at the testimony, but we can do that now. Or not. September 7th, 3.11pm, Detention Center Visitor's Room. Oh, it's right here. The victim dodged an attack, then ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. Okay. Well, hello! I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite... moving. Not! You stinking lawyer, I hope you die! Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. Honestly, the security guard looks lifeless as ever. I don't think he has emotions. So, what is it you wish to ask of me, then? Hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? I would like to know that as well. But let's talk to her. That man. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm, maybe if I had something to get her to talk. So, for all these, she just dodges. Um, I can speed through these if you want, but... You know, she just says the same thing. She just dodges. Um... So, instead, I am gonna go to... The Gatewater Hotel I think I went to first, because Faye and Co. was empty. September 7th, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It'll be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa, Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are our honored guest. Please, let me know if there's anything I can bring you. You can bring me some high-quality top-notch information about miss may oh her 
Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. Even though he has an alibi. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of... Danger. <laughs> there we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. A photo? Hmm. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? I love how the Gatewater Hotel wasn't even where Mia was murdered, and yet he's adding freaking subtitles. Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. And we can also examine that the drawer that the wiretap was in. Huh? There's still a screwdriver stuck in that drawer. Ah, please leave that as it is, sir. That's the Drawer of Terror, hiding place of the murderer's wiretap. It's set to become one of the most popular attractions here. This guy's serious. I don't believe it. So, I am making this episode my debut of presenting my attorney's badge to people. Let's do it. Aww, no special dialogue. Dang it. Okay, let's head to Grossberg Law Offices, and whoa... So, I'm going to be blurring out when scenes are different than they normally are, or when I encounter a new scene. Or not blurring out, but covering, so... Wow. September 7th, Grossberg Law Offices. Huh. Looks like Grossberg is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason? I don't know. I'm going to examine these photos on the desk first. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident Exhibit A, DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. Exhibit B. Why would Grossberg have a picture of this man? This might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. I'm just borrowing it. I'll return it later. Photograph quietly added to the court record. Okay. And now, the big painting. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah. Yeah, it was a painting of fishermen. Wasn't it? Okay. And now we are all caught up to speed, so I will leave it back in the hands of past Emma. It wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. I remember it, Phoenix. You're being very mean. Okay. Let's go see if this photo can jog the bellboy's memory. No, 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 no. Don't move. We have a photo of a man to give to another man. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that that's him? An affidavit? This guy is way too excited about this. Have him write it. Have him write it. Well, sure. Why not? Yes! I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. Bellboy's affidavit added to the court record. Alright, not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Okay, let's go back to the detention center now that we have our man. You again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. You don't, you don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Oh, Phoenix. Oh, okay, let's give her this. Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times I'm not telling you. Where did you? Aha, a reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, no, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. 
Do you have proof that was him? Huh? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. He told us everything he saw. He told us about the man you checked in with. He told us who he was. Ding! Now I'm getting somewhere. Push her hard! This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb, if indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this photo to the press. What? Even though he should be a witness to, a, to murder, this man is in hiding. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Ooh, fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? Ooh, Phoenix, please restrain yourself. <clears throat> now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the Informa... Um, from the information gathering conglomerate Blue Core. Red, white, information gathering. Well, I suppose you could call him a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder. I'm, I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Core is located? Mr. Red White, at last. Finally a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Discarded the bellboy's affidavit. So, it is time to head to... Blue Core. Um... This is where I'm gonna end this. We're gonna see Mr. Red White tomorrow. I say tomorrow, but like in game it whatever okay i'm gonna see you guys in the next episode if you enjoyed please subscribe uh you know whatever you want i don't know your choice i why am i still talking have a nice day and i will see you guys in the next episode bye <laughs>